Hello, boys and girls. Our lesson today is about finding a pattern to write an equation. Let's get started. So, how can you find a pattern to write and solve an equation? Think about this question during the lesson. Here is a table that shows a number n and the goes c. And we need to find a pattern to write and solve an equation. The table shows the cost of weekend tickets to the slide and splash water park. Find a pattern between the number of tickets and, and the cost C uh, of the tickets. Write a rule and an equation that represents the pattern how much would six tickets cost. So we need to write an equation that represents this pattern uh, that uh, is written in this table. What pattern will you look for to find the cost of six tickets? What are the dependent and independent variables? We all know that the cost depends on the number of tickets. So the dependent uh, variable is C and the independent variable is N. And we need to find a relationship to write my equation. Three tickets cost 16 and 15. Four tickets cost 22. A dollar is five tickets, cost 27 and 50 dollars. Look at this pattern, look at the numbers. The numbers are increasing or decreasing. The numbers are increasing, as you see, and the relationship between the number of tickets and the cost of the tickets, uh, as we said, the independent variable is n and the independent variable is c. The cost depends on the number of tickets, as I mentioned. We need to look for the relationship between the tickets and the cost. Find the price of one ticket P when three tickets cost $16.50. So I'm going to write this equation. 3P equals 16.50. What property of equality was used to solve this equation? As you see, this is a multiplication equation. So if you multiply the three by the price of one of uh, tickets, that's equal to uh, 16.50. We need to solve this multiplication equation by using the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division property of equality. This way, I can divide both sides by three, and this way I can get the price of one ticket. One ticket costs five and fifty. Uh, check the cost for four and five tickets. Why is it important to check the cost for four and five tickets? Uh huh. Yes, it is important to check the cost for five, four and five tickets because you must make sure the rule works for all the related numbers in the table. So the rule was 3P equals 16.50. So state the rule. The total cost C is 55.50 times the number of tickets N. Let's write the equation. C equals 50. 5.50 5 times N or C equals 5.5 times n. So c is equal to 5.5 5, uh, times 6 and c is equal to 33. So the price of one ticket is equal to 33. It's your turn now. Select a number of tickets and to use the equation to fill in cells of the table. Pause, pause the video and try to solve it on your own. Copy it to your copybook and try to solve it. Write the equation and try to solve it. Substitute 6 for n and then multiply 5.5 by 6. Write the answer in dollars. Now you know how to find the pattern to write and solve an equation. So the next number is going to be 33. Look at the numbers. They are increasing and uh, 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 it's the we are multiplying uh, each number of ticket by 5.50 then I got the number which is missing in the pattern thank you and see you in the next video